Hey guys, how's it going? It's Target here. Welcome back to another episode of the Chicago Blackhawks Be a GM. We are having a great season so far, 16-3-3. And in fact, in that month, I think we only lost two games, and I think they both came in overtime. Uh, there's one, two, yep, yeah, two so far. And, uh, yep, yeah, two that month, and they both came in OT. So we, we escaped the entire month without with a point in every single game. So that's a great month. So let's keep going here. We got two months to go before we do another review. Uh, scout assignment. I don't know what he's scouting Russia for. We are doing defense in the WHL. Let's see what kind of information we get on them. Number of first rounders. Number of them. Um, any good goaltenders out there? Is a first rounder in the WHL as well? You know what? Let's scout the WHL for three weeks of goalies, okay? Let's find out a little more there. Okay, going up to the 1st of uh, January, the new year, 2020, is what it'll be. Uh, Faust and for a first and Rupp, no, they really are insistent on getting rid of Faust, aren't they? The guy that was leading them at the beginning of the year. Uh, Nashville's the team that's, yeah, we beat him, nice. And Klimchuk gets his 10th goal, so very good. Klimchuk at about a point per game. We're seeing all kinds of scoring from all kinds of lines. We looked at that in the last episode. For those of you that didn't watch it, make sure you go back and check that out. Um, a lot of our lines are contributing to our success, and you've got a ton of players that are at a point per game, and you're seeing here uh, on the leaders the number of players that are bouncing in and out. Like I I'm sure you guys have noticed that watching it. Uh, even the plus minus, you know, everybody's in on the action, and it's a big deal for a team like this to be able to do that because it means you're producing at an insane rate. You know, we've got tons of snipers on our team. You got Klimchuk, you got Druin. Uh, I'd consider Chasen and even Kane snipers. And these guys are all producing at a point per game. That's a lot of goals being scored for the Chicago Blackhawks. Plain and simple. It doesn't matter how you cut it. You know, a lot of the time when you're doing these sims, the goals seem to be spread out and shared amongst all the players on the team. That's the way it seems. And the more skilled players you add, the less likely your top snipers are to produce at like a 50 goal a 50 goal year you know that seems to reduce the amount of 50 goal scores you have in your team this year this year it appears that we're trending towards a couple of 45 to 50 goal scores which we have not seen the likes of since the tampa bay one with kucherov and uh and Druin. And, of course, then we traded for that one sniper right at the end who was actually on, on route to do that. We cut out right before we got to take a look at him. Um, uh, any forward, any other forwards that we can scout? There was uh, Russia. Russia had some forwards, so we're going to scout them for a month. We'll find out some more. Keep going. You know, so it, 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 but this year, we're having a great time. Everybody's doing really well. Uh, like I said, we're on pace for about a, a couple of 45, maybe 50 goal scores. I doubt we'll get any 50s, but very likely at least a 45. I mean, they're doing well. You know, they're doing well. And points, we should get a number of guys that are around 95 to 100 points. I think that's what's going to happen. I mean, you just look at the early on in the season, and the trend continues here. We keep winning. We keep on scoring goals, and everybody's contributing points. You see Tay's now up there at 30 assists. I can guarantee you that's going to be a big number on the standings, too. If you take a look at the standings, which we'll do shortly here, we'll see where everybody sits. All right, so Tay's got another two assists. Cotton is third in goals against average. He is now eighth in save percentage, so he's dropped off by .08. Uh, points, look at the points. Tay's, Druin, and Kane are top three, 45, 42, and 41. That's what we expect from them, okay? Uh, assists. Taze is number two with 32 assists. Connor McDavid leads the way. And then the goals. Klimchuk, Kane, and Druin. I told you all these snipers. 18, 17, and 17. We're going to have a few good goal scorers. Reed Boucher, though. 28 goals on the year. And Connor McDavid, 19 goals on the year for him. They're doing really well. How's Connor McDavid in the standings? Number one. He's got the most points. 53 points. And Boucher's at 38. So, not bad at all. We currently sit at 53 points, which is good enough for first in the league. I don't want to change anything right now. Don't want to jinx it. want to keep things going here. This might be the year where if we can keep this up, we will actually have guy more than two players appearing at the, uh, the All-Star game, which doesn't happen very often with this club. It really hasn't. We usually put a forward through and a defenseman through. And with the addition of adding Cotton, um, we've put through a goalie. But those three, it's been one in each position. I'd like to send more than one per position. You know, a couple forwards, a couple defense. We'll see how things go. 
Um, I mean, Derek Forbert is contributing in the penalty column, it seems, not so much in the, the assist and point column. Uh, but his plus minus is, is number one on the team. So it reflects a guy that's shutting down teams and contributing offensively. Or at least, you know, letting the player, uh, giving the, the forwards and his other offensive partner a chance to produce offensively. And, and it's working. You know, it's working having those two together that we have Forbert and Levi. Wow, what a, Druin's now up there. Uh, no, we don't need Joe Vitale. We're almost at 30 wins already, midway through January. That's unbelievable. That's such elite status. I mean, I always expect to get to about 40 wins by the time we get to the trade deadline. And at this rate, we should get to about 45 by the time we get there. And they want 51 out of us. Uh, obviously, we've lost a few more here, but Cotton continues to put up insane numbers in terms of uh, shutouts. This is going to be a record year for him in that. In fact, I'll be interested to see... What, how that stacks up against the NHL record for most shutouts in a season. Because it's not that much. It's really not that much. And when you think about the number of shutouts some of our guys have put out here year after year. Um, let's take a look at forwards again. Russia. We are, Russia's the one with the top 10. Yeah, it's got a 4-star. Uh, WHL. You know what? I'm going to go to the WHL again for another 6 weeks. Find out more about them. we got some good players there. <coughs> um, what was I saying? Uh, shoot, I've lost my train of thought now. God damn it. I hate that. I'm always on a roll and then something comes up. I'm sure you guys are all screaming it at me because you all know. But in my head, it's gone. You know, it's gone. Uh, wins? Was it about? Oh, shutouts. Right, we're talking about shutouts. Uh, the number of shutouts that teams have in these games when you get a good goalie is a little bit over, I think a little bit exaggerated, to be honest. I mean, it's, it's not that, but it's not, it shouldn't be that high. You know, you talk about some of the greatest goalies of all time, Patrick Waugh, Martin Brodeur, and they never put up shutouts like this. Uh, let's take a look. I'm interested to see here. Uh, we're blue. Let's see. So we've got, yeah, Kane and Taze are both there. Uh, we've got Druin and Klimchuk. Uh, that looks like about it. But our top, we've got four forwards. Uh, defensively, we don't have anybody, though. Oh, Nick Letty went. Nick Letty. And then goaltending, I'm assuming Cotton. Yeah, number. He's 92 overall now, Daniel Cotton. So, there you go. We've got five players in the All-Star game. That's exactly what I hoped uh, I, I hoped for because, we, I mean, we've been such a good team this year. 32 wins, 10 losses be it, uh, but three OT losses. We're doing really well. There's no issues here, and we've got an incredible lineup of young players that are scoring like crazy, you know, with some solid, solid veterans in Jonathan Taze and even Patrick Kane now is considered a vet. 7 nothing win there. And look at Taze. He's on the verge of 40 assists so far. Uh, fast. No, we're still going to decline that. All right. So, save goals against average. Cotton's number one. Save percentage, 936. He's also number one. Points. Taze is number two. Druin is number three. Kane is number seven. Not bad. They, can't, they may not be able to catch McDavid, though, at 66 points. Uh, Cotton, most wins in the NHL. Goals. Klimchuk's up there at 22. It appears our guys have dropped off, but we know they're at about 20, 21 roughly, so they're really close. But Reed Boucher, 31 goals so far in the year. He's having a great year. He's going to take home that, that trophy. Tay's number two for assist behind McDavid. Uh, standings, we're at 69 points. That's good enough for first at this point. Let's take a look here at the team standings. I really don't see any issues. Change, and We don't need to change anything. We're first in the league. Our goals for per game still remain 3.85. I think it was 3.86 before, so not much of a change after two months. Goals against average, we are number one there too. Our power play percentage, we're number two in the league. Our penalty kill, we're number eight. So really solid all around. Something that we really haven't seen even with this team is that elite status. Now let's see how many players that are point per game. This is a great year for everybody. Everybody's having phenomenal, putting up phenomenal numbers. Let's see where we sit now. We are at, After two months, we are at a point per game for a lot of players. We still look like we are. Taze has 56 points in 46 games. Druin at 49. Uh, Kane at 47. Klimchuk at 45. Kadri at 44. And Chasen at 43. These are all guys that are roughly, that are at, at, above, or very, very near a point per game. And these are the top two lines. That's what we want. You got one, two, three, four, five, and six Top two lines, all producing at roughly a point per game or more. That's unbelievable. Our plus minuses, Nordstrom is the worst at plus three. Shaw, plus three. Trainer, also plus three. So everybody's producing well. Uh, I want to look at goalies really quickly. I want to see how many shutouts he has on the year. 
11 shutouts so far in the year. We're not even close to being done yet. And 9365 save percentage. That's unbelievable. It's unheard of. 9-2 is considered elite, and he's almost at 9-4. Let's keep going. Let's keep this ship going because things have been going crazy. We got the trade deadline coming up. I do not want to make a move. I want to get through this, through this, uh, this sim. I want to try to get to the end of the year by the end of this video. That would be the nice goal. That way, it's one more video of playoffs and one more video of wrap up before we get into the other one. So you're looking at another two episodes roughly after this before we get into the new GM. You know, that's that's the idea. Decline that. So we've lost a couple now out of uh, two out of the last three in the, to start this month. We need to get back in our winning ways. Oh, for God's sake, man. I got to really remove that, eh? Just brutal. You guys are probably like, just take it off, for God's sake. Wow, an 8-2 loss to the Islanders. Not good. All right, rebound, 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 rebound. Get back in there. Klimchuk's got 24 goals. He won't catch Boucher, that's for sure. Even Atkinson. Cam Atkinson's at 25 goals himself there for the Columbus Blue Jackets. There you go. Thank you. So... I mean, what was I talking? Was I talking about anything? I don't remember. It's so hot in my house right now. The weather in Edmonton has been just crazy. Um, I'm I wouldn't even begin to say you know I've been around for a long time. I've been around for 24 years. All right, and probably if we if we really assess it properly, if I take a look at it, look at it from a real analytic point of view, maybe for the last 10 years. 10 to 11 or 12 years, I've been cognizant of, you know, the weather pattern and exactly what we're dealing with here. I've seen warm summers in Edmonton, very warm summers, but typically we get a week or two total, total number of days, about seven to anywhere from seven to 14 days where you're around 27 degrees or higher. It has been about 20 days like that so far this summer. So we are very much warmer than we have been ever. Yeah, I, I definitely feel that this year. And there was a there was a thing released by some organization that represents the world weather, and the average overall high for the entire world was up significantly in June. Significantly in June. They're waiting for. Uh, obviously now it's August, but uh, they're waiting. I well, I'm I'm interested to see what the result is for July. Because it's going to be very interesting. Uh, Saber Central, let's take a look here. Cotton's number two, or number three, or number two for goals against average, and number seven for goal, save percentage. So a bit of a drop. Uh, you got Taze and Drew in there. Taze is closing in. He's only seven points off from McDavid. You've also got Kane in there at 58 points. So doing well. Assist, Taze leads. Uh, goals, we've dropped off. Where Klimchuk is tied, but uh, Reed Boucher continues to lead. I wonder what Reed Boucher's trade value is. We could maybe trade Tanner Pearson for him. I wonder what his overall is. Um, and then we got Toronto and New Jersey. We're at 86 points, so we're number one in the league. I really don't see any reason to make any trades. I do want to take a look at Reed Boucher. I mean, we've had Boucher before. We know he's a good goal scorer. He's just... Some players just score. That's just the way it is. Uh, New Jersey. What's the deal with Boucher? Uh, there he is. 85 overall. He's got 99, 98, 93. Is it that offensive awareness at 90 that's causing that? Who knows? Who knows? It's unbelievable. And then you got Connor McDavid, 88 overall center, 79 faceoffs, great defensive awareness, good playmaking ability, great shot even. Connor McDavid, a force to be reckoned with. And then you got, they've also got Aaron Eckblad. We talked about that. 90 overall defenseman, great defensive awareness, good stick checking and shot blocking as well. Body checking at 96. The guy's a full meal deal. He's the whole package. Uh, but we don't need to make a move. So I'm not going to worry about that right now. We're going to get through the trade deadline here. Like I said, I want to try and finish up this year in this video. That's my goal here. Um, we'll we'll probably just go straight through to the end. That's all we'll do. Uh, scout assignment. We were doing the WHL. Uh, actually, are there any goalies out there we can scout? Top 10 there in SM Liga. So you know what I'm going to scout? No, you know what? I don't want to waste my time on goalies. Let's go to the OHL. Let's go to forwards there. Uh, let's scout the OHL for a month, all right? That way it'll... Because you don't want to be resetting these these scouting every single time when we're just wrapping up. There's no real reason for me to do it properly because we're not going to draft. <coughs> all right. Well, 7-2 win. Decline. Now our Klimchuk will be in the lead and are back, in the, back up there. Trade block. Let's do coach's recommendation. I don't want a backup goalie. We're just going to clear that. There you go. Perfect. None of that... None, and no more of that shit coming through. 
And Winnipeg, before we wrap up here, before the trade deadline. And a 3-2 win. Okay, so let's go to trade negotiations. Let's see if anybody's got anything to offer. I doubt it. I don't have anything that I really want to pick up. In the second hour, nothing in the second hour. Third hour, nothing in the third hour. Victor Rask got waived. You see that? New York claimed Victor Rask off the off of way. They waived him? He's 85 overall. Are they crazy? What'd they do? Why'd they trade him? Uh, they got Nathan Horton and Cam Atkinson from Columbus in exchange for two firsts and a Rulier. Rulier. Cedric, Cedric, Cedric Rulier. Unbelievable. And then, of course, Victor Rask gets trained. I picked up. I would pick him up, too. There you go. So nothing coming through. Good. Uh, Matt D'Agostini, no. These are all going to be guys that I don't want. Sean Mathias, no. He got waived again. <laughs> all right. Let's finish the month here. We're almost at the end of the year. We've got another half month left to go. Or another month and a half left to go. And i got about five minutes left in this video, roughly. Another win. Druin. Druin's almost at the 30 goal mark. So he's probably catching up on the, the, the standings with Reed Boucher. The, the quiz kid. The sniper. And uh, look at Colin Wilson, 26 goals for a power forward. That's really impressive. Very, very impressive. Uh, another shutout for Cotton. Continues to write the... Actually, you know what? While we wait, I'm just going to Google that. Most shutouts in a in an NHL season. Uh, most shutouts in a regular season. Oh, most shutouts in one season by NHL goalies. That's what we're looking for. Wow, we continue to win. Uh, 22 shutouts in the 1928-29 season by George Hainsworth. So that's not going to happen. Um, there's been a number of 15 shutout seasons. One by Tony Esposito. Uh, Alex Connell's done a couple. Alex Connell was a great goalie back in the day. But these are old. Like, Alex Connell, 27-28. The most recent impressive numbers was Martin Brodeur. 12 shutouts in 2006. That's the most recent one. And then Dominic Hasek put up 13. So... 15 has been like the magic number, uh, but George Hainsworth had 22 shutouts and 22 wins. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, all Every single game he won, he had a shutout. That's nuts. That's stupid. That's ridiculous, and he had seven losses, but Jesus Christ. That's an unreal number. That's 28-29, so that's a long time ago. A long time ago. All right, Drew, and you're doing good here, buddy. 34 goals for you. Taze at 59 assists. Oh, on a 4, four Not a good way to follow it up. There, we're at 52 wins already. I can't even remember what we were at with the, the trade deadline. But uh, I'm sure we were close. We're almost at the end of the season here. Almost there. Another loss. Good God. All right. Uh, let's take a look at forwards. And we were in the O. Okay, a couple. WHL. A couple top fives, top tens. Defense. Couple number of top tens here. I'm gonna scout them for uh, six weeks again. Get a little bit more information on all these elite players. All right, let's continue. We're almost done. We're almost there. Druin might get to 40 goals. Okay, he might get to 40 goals. That's the prediction here. That's the hope anyway. Is that he gets there? But uh, I'm not gonna hold my breath on it. I'm not gonna hold my breath. All right, here's uh, Washington. Come on, guys. There you go. A three-two win. Druin at 36 goals now, so he could get to 40. I said maybe. Well, look at Reed Boucher. 50 goals on the year. Connor McDavid and a win. Nice! Nice! Connor McDavid's got 62 assists or something like that. Just nuts. Uh, Nashville now. They're up. We got Colin Wilson, who's got 27 goals. They're, uh, but not nearly as the assist playmaker our team is. Our, there you go. 52 or 5-2 to two win right there. Can we get to 60 wins this year? I don't think so. I don't think we're quite there. And nobody's scoring now. Druin's not scoring. Come on, Druin. 40 goals, buddy. There's, oh, there's two goals in that one against Calgary with a 5-1 win. And, or, uh, San Jose up next. Come on. Come on. Ah, geez. A loss. Two to one in overtime, I think. That might have been in overtime. I'm not sure. Really not sure. And a 3 1 win. One more. Uh, you know what? If we had won that game, we would have gotten to 60. That's crazy. All right, Drew. Two goals in your final game against Vancouver. Come on. You can do it. Come on. Come on. There. 2 1 win. And uh, he didn't score any. 64 assists for Taze. 38 goals for Drew. Let's take a look here. Uh, we're number one for save percentage and goals against average. 937 for Cotton. Unbelievable. Uh, points. Looks like Connor McDavid is going to take the cake on that one. 97 points. Uh, Taze had 86. Druin had 83. It looks like our buddy dropped off. Nobody else stuck up there. 
Uh, Cotton had the most wins, 54. Huge leap on top of everybody else. Uh, goals, we were... Druin was in fifth. That's the highest we had. And he's behind Tavares, Sprong, Ovechkin, and of course, Reed Boucher, who had an unbelievable year. Uh, Taze finished second in assists to Goche. Unbelievable. Uh, points, 123 points. That's unbelievable. That is the re that is tied with the record, or that I think that's tied with the record that Montreal set. We already beat it before, so it's not a big deal there. All right, let's take a look at Stat Central. We probably lead in a number of categories. Uh, first off, we're first in the league, 123 points. There's no competition there, winning literally 75% of our. We have 75% point total. Uh, goals for per game at 3.44, so we did see a drop off there, but still number one. Goals against per game, number one. A huge gap between us and Detroit. Uh, power play percentage, we're number one at 22.9, and penalty kill, number four. So we dropped off a little bit there, but 85.7 is nothing to laugh at, all right? That is very impressive. Let's take a look to see how everybody did. This is going to be our final year, so we really need to assess everybody really thoroughly here before we wrap up and see exactly, you know, did we get our bang for our buck from the guys that we wanted to get it from? You know, is that what happened here? So let's take a look. All right, so looks like we had a number of... A number of players drop off, like Chasen, he was at a point per game, and he dropped off. You know, in the second half of the season, he only had 20 points. But Taze, 86 points in 82 games. In comparison to last year, that's exactly the same, actually, but more assists this year than goals. Um, Drew in 83 points. That's one more than last year, 38. This is not bad. Not a bad year for him, but not great. Patrick Kane only had 73 points. That is a drop off from the last couple years. Nazem Kadri 70 points this year. That's a huge increase for him. What a jump. And a plus 21. Klimchuk had 34 goals this year. 34. So he was really close too. And 66 points. That's his best year in terms of points. Not best in terms of goals, but he's producing with some assists. Chasen had 26 goals and 40 assists. That's his most goals he's ever scored. The most assists he's ever gotten. And most points he's ever got, obviously. Uh, Jones, 44 points. That's the best year he's had. Most goals he's gotten. Uh, Nick Letty, most points he's gotten as well. And most goals. 14 goals for Nick Letty. Finally, he started scoring. Uh, Austin Levi, 36 points, not as good, obviously, as last year, but very little difference. Honka, 35 points, that's his best NHL year. Yep, best NHL year for Honka. Tanner Pearson at 29 points, that is a jump from last year by about 5. Uh, and then obviously that first NHL season at 16 points. That's not bad playing the third line, 29 points, very good. Nordstrom, 28 points, that is an increase from last year. He's still building. Peter Trainer. Trainers at 28 points. That's the best year he's ever had, and we picked him up just to play on the fourth line. He's done really well. 28 point, points playing on the fourth line. Uh, Andrew Shaw had uh, a total of 26 points, so it's not his best year, but he's 86 overall. He's a solid defensive prospect. Look at that shot blocking, 95. Stick checking, 90. Defensive awareness, 86. He's a solid defensive prospect. Uh, Forbert, 20 points and a plus 39 playing on that second line. He did really well. Uh, Mark McNeil in his first NHL campaign, 19 points. 19 points, that's not too bad. Uh, Philip Deno, 16 points, pretty good. Adam Clendenning, he put up 14 points, a modest number, but better than last year. Not as good as the 25 he put up in 17-18. In and then LeBanc, I don't know who the hell that is. He, uh, he didn't play for us, so but his stats are there because he played for somebody else. Uh, save percentage, 9368 for Daniel Cotton's number one. 17 shutouts, so that's good enough for second place. That is a modern record. A modern record. And actually puts him just behind that guy. What was his name? George Hainsworth. Just puts him right behind George Hainsworth for the record. All right, well, eight, uh, five back. But still, that is second best. I really, I really like that, okay? I guess that's it for now. We'll be taking a look at who we're going to play in the playoffs. We'll sim through that very shortly, guys, okay? So let me know what you think about the year. How did we do? Until next time, I'm Target Audience, and I'll catch you guys out on the ice.